So to make millet bread or quantel. <laughs> <laughs> to my channel my name is Giovanita and in this video I have my lovely mother with me <laughs> hi all I hope you are all well welcome to this video I know Giovanita is going to introduce what we are going to make today thank you welcome to episode 3 of the you don't have to buy it series and in this episode we will be doing millet bread which is known as <laughs> that, that's the reason why the Achilles we are so strong. It is very nutritious and it, when you eat it, you don't need to eat for the next how many hours? Yes. Six or eight hours. You are strong and you are able to do whatever you want to do. Yes. On this Sunday evening, we were just about to make it for our supper and we decided why not share with you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. So what you need in order to make millet bread or corn bell is a saucepan. I'm going to use this saucepan because we are just a family of two. So we do not require such a big saucepan. So the saucepan will depend on the number of people at your home. Uh, we also need hot water, which is the same thing. It also depends on the number you are cooking for. Mm. Yes. You can do one cup of water or two depending on the people you are going to feed on that day. Then the meaning stick, the millet flour. Yes, we all made millet flour. Just lay it up on the grass. Put the saucepan. Then for the water you just eyeball it. Uh, about, we are using about two, two or two and a half cups of water. This should be enough. Then you first leave it to start real boiling because of the transfer from the kettle to the saucepan. It might lose some heat because you need the water to be really hot. make sure the, 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 the heat is very hot whether you are using a, a, what, a charcoal stove the fire must be very hot so now our water is fully boiled we are going to add in the millet flour So I have to just stir uh, around it to allow it to to boil further. And get it cooked properly. So at this point I leave it for some like one to two minutes for it to boil. In this process it is cooking the bread further.
So, I think this may uh, just go in enough. Then I will just go ahead and now mingle. See that is still uh, a bit light, so I have to add in more flour so that it can become a bit thicker. It should not be too hard and not be too 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 light. to notice that it requires a lot some energy you have to put in some energy so that all the the flour gets mixed up properly don't have some bit of white with and mingled flour in in the middle of the bread so right now you can tell my bread is fully and it is ready. My, my my bread from fire and traditionally we use this this is what we call a choir in actually we call it a choir for smoothing the the portion so you get your mingling stick just do it like that to remove some of the put it in water and just do this you may need to do, separate it into two, but for this one, I'm just doing one. Move it from the fire, get your plate, and do that. final bit i hope you can see very well this is our millet bread well uh mingled and ready fit for a king <laughs> and then we are going to serve it with our dango we call it uh okay it is pigeon piece but we call it dango so we are going to enjoy it using and that's it. our supper <laughs> yeah and you'll eat even if you eat tomorrow at lunchtime you'll be okay yeah 
so we'll come to the end of our video i hope you enjoyed this video if you make millet bread or cornbell you can feel free to send me a video or pictures of your result i would love to see them i hope you enjoy this video again don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you next time bye bye hope you enjoyed it thank you previous video which I did which was how to make pancakes here